hello friends in this video let's talk about one of the important function and easy function in sql server 2016 the name of the function is date from parts what it is actually see if, if you have experience in uh, 2008 2005 or any of the previous versions you might have struggled a bit to format a date when you have a individual values when i say individual values you have a day you have a month you have a year from these three independent columns you need to form a date yes i struggled in 2008 2005 even i worked with 2000 version as well so we used to do the first we used to do the cast conversion if it is a integer value which i am getting and then i used to do the concatenation then at the end i need to convert that as a date time but all over now you can easily format a date without doing any cast conversions it's a very easy and very straight forward in this video i'll show you practically what ideally the problem is without this function what exactly we got newly where exactly i am feeling comfortable by using this function what i mean here is i am going to show you the old way of handling and the new way of handling with this function so let me show you now so let me go to sql server management studio 2016 version so let's click a new query <coughs> yeah so i i simply created a basic table with a name of dates let me show you the data which is there in the dates table <coughs> now if you see you have three columns with six rows it's fully designed for our example so later you can apply the same thing wherever you have a requirement now so let's take the first record let's take the first record so this is the first record see if you see this the record is August eighteen two thousand nineteen. If you really understand this, August eighteen twenty nineteen. So, how I need in the output is I need this way twenty nineteen some zero eight eighteen. I need this way. And again, I I want to show this as a date, as a date, not as a string. okay so this is my requirement so how we used to handle in the earlier version of sql server so what exactly i am feeling happy by using this function let me show you the two ways the old way as well as a new way so let's keep this as it is in the top yeah let's come here now let's keep it comma as i told you i cannot simply club this i cannot simply concatenate this i cannot concatenate like this like a year plus i cannot concatenation hope you know plus is a concatenation operator in sql server i cannot do that year plus month plus uh, this one i cannot because those are integers these are integers if you really see the definition of the table this is a integer day is a integer month is a integer year is a integer in my case if it is a character if it is a string there is a different way of handling <coughs> now i cannot pl apply plus year plus month plus and all it fails so if you want still if you want i can show you that year plus so single quote uh, hyphen plus month plus single quote iphone single code plus day so i cannot let me run this 
see this is been uh, summed up if you really see this so it sum and it gives you different values altogether it's not a valid uh, date time <coughs> okay so now this is not a valid case let's remove of this <coughs> scenario now how to form a date in a old way and easiest way so how i used to handle is cast because i cannot as i showed you i cannot uh, a club integer values to form a date date okay so i need to convert that as a string then only i can club as a date now let me make it as this cast year as var care of some four okay plus single quote hyphen again close plus cast of month month as uh, where care of 2 i can i am okay with 2 i don't need 4 here plus again single quote hyphen single quote plus cast of day yes where care of uh, because i know the what is the possible values of day month and year that's the reason why i made it as four year okay so if there are some scenarios where you you're not sure what is the possible values of these columns you can make it as max extent okay so now if you really see this so i uh, i converted year as a character month as a character and day as a character then i clubbed it so let me run this yes do you see this 2019 818 so 2019 uh, 819 2019 820 2018 718 2018 719 2018 so this is a string now because all i clubbed as a this is a string plus string and all now i need to convert this as a again as a date so in one shot i'll be doing that cast i'll be handling everything in a single case as date so now you can give alias name as uh, date format something like that, whatever the column i want it's up to me whatever the column i whatever the name i want i can give it now let's run this do you see this now the exact value it is converted as a date so if you really understand here there is no 08 earlier i got only 8 but now here i'm getting 08 07 and all why because i converted as a date format see earlier i used to do all these activities to get a final date format but now things are bit easier okay so before converting date time let me show you once again yeah this one let me put it as one more column so that understanding uh without conversion or like a initial let me make it as initial value okay let me run this yeah you can see the difference between initial value and once converted value here there is no 08 there is no 08 and 07 okay this is the difference without conversion and with conversion okay, now so what made us easy in tix 2016 so i am telling you we do not need to write this much of code to get a date format then what made me easy so that's what i am going to tell you date from parts date from parts is a function which helps has to club the individual columns and form a date i do not need to spend much time i do not need to write this much of code to get a this date let me write it date from parts of you need to pass year what all things you need to pass year comma month comma day that's it you can make it as a final format or easy format i can say easy date now let me run this see now do you understand the re difference between that and this so rather than writing this much of casting this much of casting you can easily 
you can easily get the date in a format by passing year month and day <coughs> then what happens if anyone is null so if anyone is null what will happen so let me change the value of the table make it as a uh, null i'm intentionally making as value as null so what will happen let's run this query so if you see this whenever you see any of the value is null you do not need to worry it doesn't fail it will give you the null because it tries to combine month year and day but one value is null out of all these three so it became null the total result became null so this is how we apply date from parts in the sql server so this is available only in sql 2016 onwards you do not find this thing in a earlier version of sql server it is very easy and it's really good feature to the sql developers hope you understand this rather than writing these many cached conversions here 1 2 3 and 4 totally by using this date from parts i can increase the performance of the query so this is what is called as a date from parts so not only this if you have any questions on sql server or msbi power bi or azure please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates that's all about it please like and subscribe for more technical videos thank you